Whether by plane, train, or automobile, however you plan on getting to your holiday destination, this is one of the busiest travel days of the year. 8 News reporter Sierra Crew joining us live from the Richmond International Airport with more on that. Sierra, what are you seeing? Well, Eric, Heather, crowds have been fluctuating throughout the day, and it's definitely picked up over the past hour or so. You've got people racing in from the cold outside, you've got people waiting to pick up their loved ones, and there are people, unfortunately, who have learned that their flights have been either delayed or canceled. One of the busiest air travel days of the year, exasperated only slightly here in central Virginia by Midwest winter storms. As of this afternoon, seven out of 134 flights at the Richmond Airport have been canceled. Six of those going to or from Chicago. Christian Bates flew home for the holidays. Today, he only experienced slight delays. About 15 minutes, but no, I wasn't too, wasn't too bad. The TSA says this holiday season, we're seeing the highest volumes of travelers in years. Traffic could even reach pre-pandemic numbers. The flight was a little more crowded than I'm used to. Timothy Richburg's flight headed to New Orleans today. He's relieved the weather didn't cause him any trouble. Super, super relieved. Um, there was one time where I was coming into Chicago and outside of the windows, you couldn't see anything but white. From planes to trains, Nancy Childs from Newport News tells 8 News her preferred method of travel is by Amtrak. I've been doing it for years. It's a channel of transportation that's been pretty much on schedule throughout the day. Meanwhile, AAA estimates heavy highway traffic with nearly 113 million people expected to be out in their cars these next couple of days potentially complicated by the heavy rains. The weather has also forced two ferry boats, which many Eastern Virginians rely on, to temporarily suspend service. I'm just glad it didn't snow. Bates tells us the harsh rains did cause a more turbulent flight than he's used to, but I'm told whether rain or shine tomorrow, airport traffic is supposed to peak again tomorrow. For now, live in Henrico, Sierra Krug, 8 News.